That's what people's hung up on. Yeah. I've got all kinds of material things. And some of you all have too. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. But if that's your God, if that's your God, you're looking at the material things the wrong way. Yeah. I tell you, I've got some material things now at home I'm trying my best to get rid of. I've almost offered to give them away because I just don't have time to take care of them no more the way I used to do. God is so good. He is faithful. He is just. And one day, there's going to be a trumpet sound. Karen talked about it, that the king is coming. Does everybody in the building realize that the king is coming? He, he, he's coming. Whether you're ready or not, I believe everybody in this building today, I believe everybody is ready to go in case the trumpet wants to sound. But we've got loved ones. We've got kin folks. We've got friends. We've got neighbors that's not ready to go. And I tell you, we ought to tell them about Jesus uh, all the time. Some of them don't want to know it. Some of them don't want to hear it. Some of them go like that. I've heard that stuff all my life. But it don't make no difference. Jesus is still real. And Karen says, uh, the king is coming. He's coming. Whether we're ready or not, he's still coming. I thank God for everyone here to come out here on a Sunday morning to worship Him in spirit and truth. I'm here to say His it's coming is closer than we think it is. It's right at the door. We don't know the day or the hour, and I want everybody to know that if your life was took away from you today, the King has come for you. It might be, it might not be in the rapture. You might, they might take you down and put you in a cemetery. They put you about six foot deep, and they'll put you in a vault. That's the, that's the law. They put you in a vault. You can't get out of the vault at all. But I'll tell you what. Whatever Jesus comes down the cloud and the trumpet sounds, I don't care how deep the grave is. I don't care how thick the vault is. I don't care what the grave man says that's around there. And you want to come out. Of that great victorious and brother Baker, I can't wait to that day that I see him face to face. He's done so much for me. He's filled me with his spirit. He's filled me with his word. He's given, he's given us food. I tell you, with my wife, we look around and seem like everybody. This young lady sitting right here come the other night and she said, here's some goodies. But my wife sat out in the yard. I tell you, it's yesterday morning and we eat but all those goodies that you brought. I tell you what, God is good to us. He puts good people in our path. He's always there. He'll always be there. You know why? He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. He's the best friend I've got. He's everything to me. He's not only my friend. He's my Savior. He's my God. He's my soon coming King. 